In this video, I'm going to teach you how to work with pause points in your After Effects compositions. After Effects revolves around the post-production space, where graphics are always inserted for a finite duration. So a common workflow when working with After Effects designs in live productions is to render them as video assets and play back the video clips at a predetermined duration. Working with pause points allows you to play an After Effects composition and have it hold on air until you choose to play it off, just like your native title or live graphics. There are three methods for generating pause points in your graphics, so I'll cover them all. First off, I'm going to share an important principle of building graphics for title or live. The example I'm showing was provided by one of our clients who works with a third party motion graphics artist who actually built this particular lower third. So it represents a real world scenario. You can see that the full duration of the composition is 10 seconds, but there is only about a second and a half of animation here at the beginning, and then it's static until a 10 frame dissolve that I added to the end of the design. If I were to import this to Titler Live with zero modifications, it would work, but it would not be particularly efficient since I'd be rendering eight seconds of dead space with every change. So it's best if you can make your compositions as short as possible while accommodating your in and out animations. In this example, that means I can move my dissolve keyframes just after my in animation finishes up and trim the comp down to just under two seconds. This will keep renders snappy as I change out the text in my live graphic. Now we'll dive into the first method of specifying a pause point. You can simply click and drag from the marker icon on the right to bring in a composition marker. Place it at the static point in your design, between the in and out animations. Now double click the marker and label it pause. If a marker labeled pause exists in the comp, Titler Live will use that as the pause point. If there is no pause marker, Titler Live will look for responsive design time fields instead. This is After Effects' native method for creating time-protected regions in motion graphics templates, so you may be familiar with the workflow if you're already working with Mogerts. You can set them in the Composition menu by going under Responsive Design Time and selecting Create Intro. Then drag the region to cover your entire in animation. Next, I'll set up an outro region by going again to Composition, Responsive Design, Time, and now selecting Create Outro. And then I'll drag the region to cover all of my out animations. In this case, Titler Live will use the first frame of the outro region as the pause point. If there is only an intro region, then Titler Live will use the last frame of the intro region. If there is no pause marker or intro outro regions, Titler Live will automatically assume a pause point at the midpoint of the comp's duration. This isn't always ideal since in this case the graphic is still animating in at the midpoint, but if I imported this project without modifying the duration, it would have worked fine. In that event, Titler will automatically set the duration of the title to match the duration of the comp. For example's sake, I'll import the original 10 second version of this composition. You can see that the duration is set to 10 seconds and it will play off air at that mark. But if I wish to use the automatically generated pause point, I can set the duration to zero. Now the graphic will hold on air until I animate it off. Now you should understand the fundamentals of establishing pause points in your graphics. Please see the rest of this tutorial series for more tips and tricks on importing After Effects compositions in Titan.